What up? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy GS Man. And today they went ahead and released another card of the honors program, but it looks like they only released one and not two, which is a little uh, surprising considering I'm used to them delivering two at a time. But today, again, it was just one card and it was Jordy Nelson. So we're going to go on ahead and take a look, see what he has to offer. It looks like he's already the cheaper one of the program. Um, his chemistries are Playmaker, Route Running times two, and Green Bay times two. So we're going to go on ahead and compare him. Now, uh, he has 91 speed, 95 catching, 85 elusiveness, 93 spec catch, 90 release, 96 route running, 94 catching traffic with jumping of 87. Now, first thing that pops out, obviously, is that extremely high route running. And with the route running chemistry, he's going to go on ahead and add to that and bring that up to about a 98 if you fully max that out. The Green Bay chemistry is going to bring a pass block, run block, and an impact block. So, uh, not really sure how that benefits him too much. But, uh, again, he is going to... Uh, increase what he's already really good at, which is his route running. Very high catching, uh, very high catching traffic, very good route running. So this car just looks like a um, a monster. Looks like a, a very good car, very good car. Now he's lacking speed, but you know everything else that he has just looks really, really, really good. You know route running is so important. You know that's going to help you create separation on the cards. Um, well, from the defenders, that's just going to help you. Uh, just run routes extremely crisp and, and you notice the difference when you um, when you uh, have somebody with high route running and you run like an out route or a C route or anything that uh, just has a quick cut and you just notice it you know how they just create separation from the defender um, whenever they uh, you know utilize their their route running so uh, and his catching traffic with this height I can tell this card is going to be really, 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 really good. Now, I uh, might consider getting him. Um, the thing is that, you know, you can see my coins are still really low. Well, not really low. Let me not say really, really low. They're not. They're uh, good enough for maybe a player because, you know, the cards that are coming out are so expensive. Uh, you know, I could only get, like, one player out of everybody that's coming out. But I definitely want Fitzgerald. And, you know, uh... Brandon Marshall, I really, really, really like. You know, OBJ and Julio. It's like, what am I going to do with all these receivers? You guys know, uh, you know, I only run an offense that, you know, I don't pass the ball that much as it is. I've been doing way too much lately with uh, Vic, which I need to stay away from. <laughs> but, uh, you know, mainly I like to keep the ball on the ground. And when I do pass, it's mainly a, a two or three receiver set on the field. Uh, rarely do I come out in something where I need more than two, three receivers. So if I get Jordy Nelson and Fitzgerald and I'm going to have Julio Jones and Brandon Marshall and OBJ and, you know, this, you know, uh, my, whoever my four, five and six receivers are, they're pretty much never going to come in the game because, you know, <laughs> my offense mainly consists of when I do pass the ball, mainly I just utilize the, uh, top two, uh, receivers and, uh, that's, that's, that's pretty much about it. <laughs> But anyways, Jordy Nelson is out. Not a fan of the, the Green Bay chemistry. I, I know they're, they're dropping a lot of uh, cards with the team with the team chemistries. And I get the idea. I like it. You know, you get some players from the same team and you link them up and you're able to go on ahead and create a chemistry specifically around those guys from the same team. But I just don't like, you know, like you take a look. Pass back. Pass block, run block, and impact block. I mean, I it, to a sense it helps him, you know, when he's run, when he's blocking if you're running the ball, but it doesn't really help him out as far as being a wide receiver. You would probably need whatever the hell Green Bay Tier Two is in order to help him out, and Tier Two would probably bring like a, a spec catch, whatever, whatever is gonna bring, and um, just not a fan of that. You know, I, I just. You know, wish that they had something more uh, viable where you don't need to go out, go out your way and get more players from the same team to go on ahead and, and uh, you know, this is the ultimate team. And, you know, most of the time, you know, the ultimate team consists of a whole bunch of players from a whole bunch of different teams. 
<laughs> but anyways, man, that's the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you guys, uh, you, well, I can't even say enjoy. Just a quick, you know, a little mutton news out, you know. Uh, but Jordy Nelson released today. Uh, not a card. It looks like a very good card. Let me not say, like, uh, you know, I'm not interested in it just because of Larry Fitzgerald. If there was no Larry Fitzgerald, I get this card. But the fact is, there is a Larry Fitzgerald, so I'm not going to get this card because I want Larry Fitz. But let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below on the um, Jordy Nelson that was released today. And I'm wondering why they released just one. I think maybe because Matt Ryan won two awards, right? Didn't he win MVP and Offensive Player of the Year? I believe he won two awards. So maybe that's why, you know, that's one less uh, card that they have to drop because one person won two. So that's the only thing I can think of. But anyways, Jordy Nelson out today. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions. See your boy GS. We're going to go on ahead and be signing out. Peace.